Well guys, unbelievable, I was able to obtain exact statement from Gary Gensler on the close meeting with Janet Yellen and Biden. I was able to do that through Harvard Law School Forum. Unbelievable, right? This is how Gary Gensler start his own statement. The fund industry gives retail and institutional investors the opportunity to pool their assets, get investment advice and attain diversification and efficiencies. These pools of assets have become a significant part of our markets. There is 5 trillion in money market funds, nearly 7 trillion in bond funds and 9 trillion dollars in gross assets under management in these hedge funds. The nature scale of these funds through all post issues for financial stability. This is not just based on financial economic theory, but also open the practical lessons of the past. This is where Gary Gensler is touching on potential liquidity crisis within the hedge fund industry. Look at this. Money market funds and open-end bond funds by their design have a potential liquidity mismatch between investors' ability to redeem daily on the one hand and fund securities that may have lower liquidity. While this might not be a significant concern in normal markets, we have seen that stress times these funds liquidity mismatches can raise systematic issues. Hedge funds can present financial resiliency risk through leverage or derivatives position. And here things are getting interesting guys. With respect to open-end bond funds, I have asked staff wherever there are improvements we can consider regarding the fund liquidity rule or through other reforms to enhance fund liquidity, pricing and resiliency future stress events. Whoa, does Gary Gensler expect to run a stress test again? I mean, would you prepare the whole industry for worst case scenario or for a particular case scenario in which they have issues with the liquidity? if you don't expect that kind of issues actually to appear in the near future. Won't make any sense, right? He can pick up on, on any other issue, right? Mergers and acquisition, hostile takeover, inside the trading. He can pick up on any topic, these funds, but he is picking up on liquidity, guys. Kari Gensler didn't forget to mention that the commission voted to propose amendments to the forum for private funds that we talked about last week. The joint portions of forum private funds related to the periodic reports of the hedge funds. How gently Gary Gensler is basically trying to tell the hedge funds that, you know, things will go under a microscope from now on, right? We know you guys are doing well, manage your risk, you know, we have people in place, you can borrow more funds, you know, you can provide better collateral or liquidity. But you know what? We want to make sure that we have we have things under our control right not under your control and guys the most uh funny part here is that gary gensler kept talking about uh investor individual investor protection on the market but he kept focusing and pushing new rules about the hedge funds did you get what he's trying to do my take on this this is the real individual investor protection he's imposing new rules and regulations new forms and reports right for the hedge funds, this is how he's gonna protect individual investors. I remember first time when we heard about individual investor protection, that individual investor needs more education about the stock market. Everyone said that, you know, that's, that's a nonsense. But now, now I totally understand what is the real thoughts of Gary Gensler and SEC. This is how they're gonna protect individual investor. A lot of people ask me about the building uh, in Chicago on fire. I didn't see nothing about this simply because I don't have any data to, to, to say it, right? Uh, I'm reading tons of comments. I'm having big time watching all the memes with, uh, with the Ken Griffin taking part of, of this. I mean, guys, look, we're discussing only things that we have real data, real facts. If you look the big picture, things definitely pick up pace, right? We started from the media, uh, CNBC talking, uh, Fox Business talking, we went through uh, Charles Payne, uh, we went to other people talking about the stock. We had the hedge fund managers, former short sellers involved in potential uh, solving the, the short squeeze, right? They exit. Now we have uh, 
Joe Biden, right? Joe Biden is focusing on the hedge funds. I mean, things are escalating. I don't know how, how further we could go. I don't know. Elon Musk next? Who knows? With all these like news and expectations, at this point, I'm just not interested looking at the price on a daily basis. I'm more focused about the news and what is coming. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Squeeze in 2022 or what? Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.